Hey, everybody, we're super excited to show you some features. I'm an old school Outlook guy, and she's now converted me to the web client. And uh, so I'm not as familiar with it. So she says she's got some things that are going to blow my mind. And I think you should know as well. Well, we'll let you be the judge of that. Let's tune in. So first, I'm going to show you guys the banner and how you can customize that um, to your liking. So let's check it out. All right. So first, what I want to tell you guys about is the sweep function, which is very cool. Um, I mentioned this briefly to Bobby a little bit ago, and I think I heard correctly when he said, uh, what? Well, I use this all the time. This is a super helpful feature that you can find in your banner at the top of your screen when you're using webmail. You'll just click on it and you can choose to sweep the email that you have selected and it will give you options like you could move all the messages to a certain folder you could even delete all the messages from this certain user whatever you want to do in just literally one click and you can do so many tasks <laughs> that, that's huge yeah that is i don't I, i've never used that uh, yes. i've seen sweep i don't know how many times and i've just never used it so <laughs> yeah. All right, Kaylee, you really blew my mind with the sweep option. So I'm I'm kind of anticipating another big bomb. What you got for us? Yes. So the next thing I have, which is also on the banner, is called the snooze button. Okay. And what you can do is click on this option to snooze a conversation um, via email with someone. So what does that mean? Well, let's check it out on the screen. Let's say, for example, you have this conversation with this guy named Bobby and he won't stop talking to you, but you want to go on vacation already and you're done with the conversation until it's time to work again, right? Okay. So in this situation, I'm going to come up here and click snooze and say when I would like to receive the information for this conversation again. So I can snooze his conversation with me until a later date. So like, for example, here, you can choose this week, tomorrow, or a specific time that you can categorize to your own needs. Um, and when you do this, I will show what it looks like. I'll snooze this till later today at 5 p.m. It takes it out of your inbox. So it's gone. You can't see it. It has disappeared. You have snoozed it and you're not going to see it until 5 p.m. today, which is what you said you wanted it to do. So, so that so, is really cool. So you're saying it's going to look like it just got resent to me at 5 p.m. That is correct. Yes. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That I think it takes a special person to really want to have that kind of thing happen. Yeah. I do it to you all the time without you knowing. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing to note about the snooze option, and this is very important, you cannot snooze from another folder besides the inbox. So you can only snooze a conversation in your inbox. Okay. That is very important to know because you don't want to be pulling conversations to a folder that you might possibly want to snooze later, you know, and not have that opportunity anymore since you pulled it so in. So what you're saying is you don't want to sweep everything into one folder and then try to snooze it later. That That's would correct. Bad. That's okay. correct. You want to be careful with combining those. So next, since we are talking about the banner, I wanted to show you guys that you can customize it, which is super helpful. So let's look at the screen and you can see these three dots um, on the top right of your banner. And you'll click on that and choose customize at the bottom. When you click on this, you are able to select what items you would like in that banner and where you would like them in the banner what? by just simply dragging them to that what? spot and dropping it. <laughs> That's just like you could do in Outlook. I didn't know you. I just thought that was how it was. Welcome. Welcome to the big leaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you really got me, you know, thinking here about some things that I might be missing out. One thing that I did notice is the top of your webmail where you're, you have like these pins. Can you go into that more detail so I can try to see how the master is using those features? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, you guys can look at my screen and I'll show you what those are. So these are called pins and you can, 
you can pin any email you would like. So for example, here I have this Twitter email and I'm going to hover over this pin icon and click pin. When I do that, see how it brings it to the top right here. And I can click on it and view it from here. All the rest of these up at the very top are pinned and you can tell that by the pin being highlighted um, on the side of the email. Now okay. you can always unpin these as well if you'd like. Okay, so next I wanna show you the OneNote feed while you are using um, webmail, which is a super cool way to multitask while you're using Outlook. So as you're looking up at my screen, you can see this option at the top right called OneNote feed. When you click on that, you can view an easy access to your OneNote and your notes right here from your email. This I feel like is so useful if you have some sort of email conversation that's going to require a lot of note taking, maybe things that you'll need to remember on the side, you can just easily click add a note and type it right here. And it syncs with anything that is synced with your notes. So it's on my phone, it's on my computer, it's on my OneNote. Okay, so uh, I I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm guessing maybe you saved the best for last, but uh, let's see. I certainly saved my favorite. Relax. Okay. Okay. So oh, this, this is um, something that I am a list maker. I love lists and I love checking things off my list. So Tasks by Planner, the app that you can have installed on Microsoft Teams as well as Outlook is super helpful for keeping track of all of your tasks and your to-dos for the day. So let's look into how you can use this to your advantage. When you're in your email, you can see this little check mark to the very left of your screen, and it is titled to do's. So we're going to click on that and go into my to do's for the day. Now I've got my whole list that I wrote out for today, but the coolest thing is that this list is synced in a bunch of other places. So let me show you my list that I have in Teams. As you can see, I've got that same list over here in Task by Planner in Teams. And I can check off this list, add tasks to it. You can make it a certain priority. You can categorize it. You can add it to a Teams channel. You can do so many things with tasks and it is so helpful, especially to any company that is doing a lot of tasks throughout the day together and collaborating. Oh my gosh, this is so useful wow. for any team really. And especially I, just individually for yourself. Okay. I got to ask a question. Can you assign a task to a team member? You absolutely can. And the way that you do this, if you, <laughs> the way that you do this is you create a planner uh -huh. for your team. So down here in the bottom left, you can see these planners that I have for our different teams. So when you click on your certain team, you can have this one called let's do a project. Okay. And this is a to-do list that we created in that specific team. And as you can see, I have right here implementing the decisions app, which is categorized to Sean and Kaylee. It's assigned to us and it's due by the 29th. So we got to get started on that one. <laughs> So it's really cool with collaboration and super useful because you can keep track of anything that you've previously done as well, especially on the admin side, which is pretty cool. Wow. So how does that translate th these options that you see here into the to-do list in your webmail? Yes. So in webmail, the thing that we're going to focus on today is this is the opportunity for you to look at your own stuff and how okay. you're doing. So this is where you can keep track of your personal tasks as well as the ones that have been assigned to you. Uh -huh. So like I was assigned catwalk, but I already did that. We're good to go for the day, but I still <laughs> have to do the implement decisions app for meetings. Something that I 
need to preference here is that if you notice in my my day section, I don't have that implement decisions app mm -hmm. task. It is in assigned to me. The reason is because assigned to me was done inside a team or a channel by someone else. Wow. But the my days are your tasks that you're doing on your own time. Does that wow. make sense? Yeah, I, I feel like there's just such potential here. We probably should do a video specifically on this. I totally agree. And I think that um, I think we should do a whole video on both the teams and the Outlook integration with Task by Planner and how you can implement that into your day to day usage and make your team way more efficient. Wow, I'm loving this. I can't wait to start using it. Awesome. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've just had my mind blown. Uh, you know, I've been using webmail. I'm, like I said, I'm a little bit of a young pup when it comes to webmail since Kaylee's kind of brought me over to the dark side. And <laughs> obviously she's expanded my vision and horizons about what the capabilities are with the uh, integrations. And But it really makes sense if you think about it. It is an Office 365 product, which tries to allow a lot more collaboration. And I think that's key, right? You want to start having that integration and you want to start leveraging all of the synergy that the other products have together. Mm -hmm. So Kaylee, thank you so much for providing this information to uh, all of us, as well as myself. Uh, and I, I'm sure we can't wait to hear your comments. Yes, of course. And if you guys have any more features that maybe I didn't mention that you love about webmail, make sure to comment down below what those are and how you use them, as well as if you want me to do a whole video on Task by Planner, comment down below what you guys think of that, and we'd love to hear your response. Thanks. Tune in next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. That was pretty good. Did that you like? Did you like my stuff? That was amazing.